Hello teachers and friends, my name is Rai and today we will be experimenting how fast three different objects fall with my fellow groupmates, Kenzo, Putri, and Anaya. Our goal is to know a certain shape in order to make an object fall as slow as possible. Let's proceed to the materials needed. So the materials that we need for the experiment is a paper paper and a scissor. This is how we're going to make the paper. First, you're going to grab an A4 paper and then you're going to fold it like this. After you're done folding it like this, you're going to fold it again on the right side and the left side like this. After you're done folding it, you're going to need a scissor and then you're going to cut it in the middle. But don't go until the end. After you're done cutting it, you're just going to fold it again. If you're done folding it, you're going to fold it again to the right side and the left side. And now, the paper is done. So now, I will try to drop the paper and count how long the duration is. That is the first fold, and as you can see, I already set my stopwatch. The result for the first one is 1.41 second. This is the second one, I fold it like this, the opposite way, and the result is 1.19 seconds. This is the last one, the third one. I fold it like this, I kind of twist it a little bit, and then the result is 1.25 seconds. And this is the example how I dropped the paper. So this is the time result of our experiment when it shows in bar graph. For the first paper, the duration is 1 minute 41 seconds. For the second paper, the duration is 1 minute 19 seconds. For the third paper, the result is 1 minute 25 seconds. So the longest paper when it falls is the first paper. The result is the time of each paper when they fall is different because it depends on how we fold, how we drop it, and the forces too. And the one who dropped the slowest is the first one. The duration is 1.41 second. And that one I folded like the example from the book. So my summary is that shape and width makes a difference since that shape differs by the center of gravity. For example, the center of gravity of male where it is in the chest area and for female where it is in the pelvis area but as shape is defined of the area that has effect of the gravity force width can be differentiated by what the object mass is. The greater the mass of the object has, the greater the gravity force that is being put. While width is a non-contact force, it can differ for example the moon, where 
The gravity that is being exerted is lower than the earth. If does not have it does not have to touch the ground to have it. In conclusion, shape differs by the area of gravity and the center of gravity that is being exerted while weight is defined by the force and gravity and force of gravity strength is